Welcome back, GMB Nation. This is your host, GMB Creates, aka GMB Reacts. And today, reacting to every Resident Evil Final Boss rank on Watch Mojo's top 10 list. Let's go ahead, go ahead and hop right into it before the video today's video starts. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, um, this is GMB Nation. That is my fan base. Those are my supporters. And speaking of supporters, shout out to Lance in this for the re today's reaction request. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Without further ado, I never played a Resident Evil game ever. Like I've seen gameplay. Like my I watched my I grew up watching my cousin play because he never would let me play. I was too young to play. But now I'm way old enough to play it. Um, I still just don't find the need to play it. I don't know. I just it's just not one of those games in my repertoire. That I prefer to play, I like fighting games. Uh, yeah, I like fighting games and certain types of shooter games. But nah, Resident Evil just never was my type of game. But I don't mind watching it though. So without further ado, welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're ranking every Resident Evil final boss. What's the value? Desktop, we got the mic. You can hear me, obviously. But what is the freaking value on this game? Oh, I mean, way, way. All right, let's get it. For this list, we'll be looking at the greatest and hardest final bosses from each mainline Resident Evil title. Which of these boss fights did you find? Welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're ranking every. Oh, is it plugged in properly? I don't think it's plugged in properly as far as the thing. Hello? Are we in here? No, I'm just gonna go down here. Resident Evil Final Boss. For this. That's weird. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I did not expect for us to have technical diff difficulties during the actual video. I never usually have this problem. Ah, uh, man. I hate to do this while I'm in the middle of a reaction video. And I'm not editing this, so it is what it is. <laughs> Y'all requested it. I'm not editing it. Uh, I only edit uh, gameplays nowadays. Save myself some time. Uh, this play sounds. What am I looking for? I'm trying to think. The sound, the sound bite. The hell's wrong with this sound? Why is that? Sure, digital. Wow. Yeah, there we go. Should work now. Should most definitely work now. Okay. Well, let's get it. Oh, let's go. To watch Mojo. Today we're ranking every Resident Evil final boss. For this list, we'll be looking at the greatest and hardest final bosses from each mainline Resident Evil title. Which of these boss fights did you find the most memorable? Let us know in the comments below. That's weird. Okay. Um, it's working on that end, but I just want to make sure why. Why the hell? All right, we'll try to again and see if it works on this end of the stick. It's so incredible. The data on this would be worth. Okay, um, speaker short digital. Um, what the f okay, 
freak it. Number eight, Evelyn, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard. <laughs> Does everyone hate me? <laughs> Many fans and critics agreed that Resident Evil 7 was a welcome return to the series' roots. It was scary, it was atmospheric, and perhaps most importantly, it put a major emphasis on the survival horror aspects. That said, it had a pretty weak final boss in Evelyn. And we use the words final boss very, very lightly. Unfortunately, there's just not much here, aside from some incredible and grotesque visuals. You mostly just pump as much ammo as you can into Evelyn's massive and horrifically disfigured face, and there's very little, if any, fear of dying. It's wonderfully cinematic, and it looks and sounds terrific, but it falls disappointingly short in the gameplay and strategy departments. It serves as a somewhat flat ending to an otherwise great game. I'm Redfield. I'm glad we found you. Number 7, House, Resident Evil 6. Owing to its unique structure, Resident Evil 6 actually contains multiple final bosses. Simmons makes for a pretty bland and unmemorable boss, and the Ustanuk fight is nothing but a glorified quick time event. House is by far the best final boss of the game, and it's encountered in the action Sorry for talking over the video, just not as interested outside of the animations. But that is a gnarly looking monster. I want the grand scheme behind like these ideas of what the final bosses will look like. Well, it's kind of cool to know what the final bosses look like in these Resident Evil games, so. That's a one up, I guess. Packed Chris storyline. First things first, Howl's looks incredible. Its design is unforgettable, serving as a massive tentacled creature with an eerie skull with pulsing veins and human looking eyes. The fight also conveys a terrific sense of scale, and it contains some great gameplay that keeps the quick time events to a minimum. This thing is pure Resident Evil, and it is glorious. Number 6, Wesker, Resident Evil 5. This is when the series started going down a more Hollywood blockbuster route, and it contained a suitably bombastic ending that takes place inside an active volcano. That said, the fight was against the series' biggest villain, Wesker, and whether it lived up to the hype is up for debate. The fight encapsulates Resident Evil 5 in every possible way, from the epic volcano setting to the co-op-based gameplay between Chris and Sheva to the iconic moment that sees Chris punching a boulder into the lava. Some found it a magnificent like battle that served as a high-octane finish to a high-octane game, and others hated it for the exact same reasons. Either way, it's a very well-made boss fight, complete with the famous shoot this glowing weak spot Resident Evil trope. Number 5, Miranda, Resident Evil Village. <laughs> I will take back my daughter. The fight with Miranda is a visually stunning and sounding piece of work. It takes place in a creepy gladiator pit of sorts, and Miranda is one of the most visually distinctive bosses in the Resident Evil canon. The fight is also that scored like to the an tree, the tree branch from Harry Potter that, used to, that uh, Harry and them used to get stuck in when he was flying around in that flying car. Epic choral piece of music that sounds like it was ripped from Dark Souls. There are also some unique Ron gameplay. Weasley's motor vehicle. Ron Weasley's enchanted motor vehicle elements within the battle, including the sudden shift to black that sees the helpless player fighting Miranda That's in what the- I would play. I'll play a Harry Potter game. I never played a Harry Potter game, but I wouldn't mind playing that. But I prefer the movies, though. I prefer the movies. Dark. They certainly learn from the disappointing Evelyn fight, as this one actually contains some gameplay and an element of challenge. There's little more to it than dodging attacks and shooting Miranda in the face, but it's enough, and the atmosphere goes a long way. Number 4, Sadler, Resident Evil 4. 
To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of cliches. This boss was quite revolutionary for the time. Sadler's final form, some type of disgusting spider creature with giant eyeballs, introduced the concept of massive otherworldly monsters to the series, and it had a direct influence on the increasingly bombastic entries that followed. The 100 foot tall grotesquerie that is Evelyn would not be possible without Sadler. It was also far more epic. You know, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of the spider off of. And if you are reading my mind, and you could think of what I'm thinking of when I say this before I say it, then you and I have you know, great minds think alike. Bro, don't it look like the spider off of Teen Titans? <laughs> Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that thing off of Teen Titans? If y'all grew up on Teen Titans, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know exactly. And it looks just like that thing off of Teen Titans, bruh. Oh, me, it do. Oh, me, it do. It looks just like that thing, bruh. But that's all I got. Yep, that's all I got. Back to the video. In scope than prior boss fights of the series. It took place on an expansive construction site, and the player was forced to use their surroundings to their advantage, like pulling levers to swing giant beams of steel into Sadler. Construction site, I think, of the Naruto map. <laughs> I play too much Naruto Storm, bro. The fight also contained the lovable shoot here weak spot trope. The perfectly integrated quick time events were not overbearing, and it contained a fantastic ending that sees Leon blasting away Sadler with a rocket launcher. It's a great and greatly influential final boss fight. Number three, Tyrant, T002 model, Resident Evil. The Tyrant fight from the first Resident Evil is obviously antiquated today, but it set the standard for Resident Evil boss fights and introduced many gameplay elements that continue to be used to this day. The fight entirely revolves around running away, keeping your distance and pumping bullets into the monstrous Terminator-esque creature. There's little to the gameplay itself, but the fight was able to convey a terrific sense of fear and anxiety, and its runaway shoot dodge run away formula became a Resident Evil staple. The fight also ends with the player using a rocket launcher against the tyrant, an ending that would be repeated numerous times throughout the series, including in Resident Evil 2 and 4. This boss fight is the very definition of a benchmark. Chill, use it! Kill it, whatever it is! Number two, Nemesis. Resident oh Evil 3, Nemesis. Arguably the most famous villain in the Resident Evil franchise, Nemesis serves as the titular antagonist of the acclaimed third entry. The Nemesis is actually a recurring obstacle throughout the game, and the player is forced to continuously run from the pursuing creature. But when it comes time to actually fight the Nemesis, the game doesn't mess around. The original game sees Jill fighting a modified form of the monster, one which crawls and attacks with writhing tentacles. It plays out much like the Tyrant fight from the first game, consisting of little more than running, dodging and shooting. The remake keeps the general theme and concept of the fight intact, but replaces the crawling nemesis with a horrific mass of limbs, like slime and sinew. Both fights consist of shooting, evading and powering up a massive weapon that eventually deals the climactic death blow. Both the fight itself and finally defeating Nemesis once and for all are wickedly satisfying. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Right, yeah, yeah, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, thank you all for watching today's video with me. Uh, that ends my uh, Resident Evil boss battles for today's video. I, I, then, uh, 
shout out to Lanson. Shout out to, you know, my supporter that requested this reaction. I appreciate you. I will see you guys in the next video. And I got to put some lotion on my face because I just jumped out the shower before I did this reaction. And I'm looking a little ashy. Someone's getting on it. I will see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe as usual. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you want to react to next. Uh, usually, I'll make a reaction request box on my Instagram. So, follow me on Instagram at GMB underscore reacts. I'll leave that in the comment section down below. Also, in the link in the description. It's in the link in the description. If you don't see it in the comment section, it's linked in the link in the description. I got all my social media uh, uh, that you can uh, hit me up on and follow me. I got the links to them, too. It's in the description. So, GMP underscore reacts is my Instagram. You can also check me out on Twitter. And if you like to donate to the channel to help support me and get better quality equipment, Donate a dollar to GMB Nation. That is dollar sign GMB Nation on Cash App. I appreciate you, each and every one of y'all for tuning in. Road to 1,000 subscribers as usual. Peace. GMB out.